Howdy folks, this is Tony here, and I've got quite an interesting idea that I want you gun tubers out there to try for an experiment. Now, the main people I want to do this are people like Kentucky Ballistics, or even Demolition Ranch, or maybe if they're too busy, maybe Hickok 45 can give it a try. I want you to test what is the minimum ballistic firepower that's required to take out a T-Rex. Because, you know, you got these movies like Jurassic Park and Jurassic World and so on and so forth, where they always show the dinosaurs eating people. But one thing that really bothers me about those movies is they don't show what would happen if those dinosaurs came into a real American city where the citizenry is armed. Imagine if a T-Rex were to go into a rough neighborhood in Chicago, it would get mown down in a drive-by. Or would it? Or imagine if that T-Rex were to go out into the farmland and it would just get picked off by a guy with an AR-15 with green tip or something like that. I want to see if that's realistic. So what I want you to do is build a ballistic dummy T-Rex. Build it to scale. Build it 12 feet tall, 40 feet in length. So from nuzzle, from muzzle to tail, 40 feet in length. And from foot to the height of its head, 12 feet high. Build it all out of ballistic gel. Use that hardened plastic to simulate the bones. Maybe take some pig carcasses and use that to simulate the organs. And then what I want you to do is, I know it'll take a while, you may have to build it piece by piece and then glue the pieces or melt the pieces together. Once you have your to scale T-Rex, start firing at it and see how each bullet performs. Maybe start with a 22, work your way up, start then with nine millimeter, then 45 ACP, then get into your shotgun and your, uh, and your rifle rounds and just see what would happen. What is the minimum firepower required to adequately take out a T-Rex? Let me know what you guys think. Please guys, share this video with Kentucky Ballistics, Hickok 45 and Demolition Ranch. I really wanna see what happens. Have a good day, everybody.